Hey Sunnyside, happy National Reading Month. Today I'm going to read to you the story Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. I love reading this story because it reminds me a lot of my own two children. Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. It was bedtime for Little Red Chicken. Okay, my little red chicken, said Papa. Are you ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. All right, said Papa. I'll read you one of your favorites. And of course, you're not going to interrupt this story tonight, are you? No, Papa. I'll be good. Hmm, I wonder if she's going to be good. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, what lovely children. Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when out jumped little red chicken and she said, don't go in. She's a witch. So Hansel and Gretel did it. The end. Chicken. Yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you could fall asleep. Let's try another story. I promise I'll be good, Papa. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Riding Hood's mother. Don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... Out jumped the Little Red Chicken and she said, Don't talk to strangers. So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. <laughs> Chicken. Yes, Papa. You did it again. You interrupted two stories and you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry, but that was a mean old wolf. Yes, now get back in bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story. I'll be good. Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Lucy Goosey and Ducky Lucky and Henny Penny and everyone from the farm. The sky was falling when... Out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't panic! It was just an acorn. So little chicken did it. The end. Chicken! Yes, Papa. You did it again! Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over a little acorn. Please read one more story, and I promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, said Papa, we're out of stories. Oh, no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Then, said Papa, yawning, why don't you tell me a story? Me? Tell a story, said the little red chicken. Okay, Papa, here we go. Um... Bedtime for Papa by Chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all... <sighs> Papa! Good night, Papa. And that was the end. I just love this story, and I hope that maybe you guys learned what is it and isn't a good time to interrupt.